Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in this new series of how-to videos, I will show you tutorials on urban informatics related subject using a couple of different mapping tools and data generator available to generate information and data in the context of cities and urban environments in Australia. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to generate walkability analysis using Petcatch website, which is more like a quick and straightforward analysis. And the data is already in the website. So you just put your location in and then you set the filter and then it will generate the walkability analysis for you. So it's more like a quick and it's more like a straightforward walkability analysis. Whereas Today, I will show you how to generate the same context of, of walkability analysis, but using Arwin portal. So in Arwin, it is more on, depend on the data that you put onto the portal. So the data is not there. You have to put the data first, and then the data will, be on, will only be in the context of area that you have selected. And then after you put the data in, you then will be able to use the analyze tools to generate walkability analysis. And then from the, an, from the output of analysis that you have generated using the tool, you, you can then visualize that data onto the map. So in this video, today I will show you first using the walkability tools. The first one is catchment generator, which is basically what we did in Petcatch. Um, website it is just to generate the walkability analysis on that certain area that you want and then the second one after we generate this data we will then use the walkability index within area tools which is to combine the three composite elements of the build form i.e. connectivity land use mix and population dens density this tool will provide a comprehensive walkability index for your selected area or neighborhoods in a single work workflow. So the analysis, the result of vocabulary analysis in Arwin is more detailed than the one that you generate from Petcatch website. And in this portal, it needs for you to first add PSMA street network data onto the map before you can generate any vocabulary um, analysis and then the second one you have to draw the points put it on the map from whichever points you want from the map and then you have to save that as a data set before you can then run the catchment generator and then to run the walkability index within area tools you then have to um, add the abs usual residential population data onto the map as well so if you want a more quick and straightforward analysis on walkability, you can use Petcatch website, which I will put the link on that video on the description down below. But if you want a more detailed and thorough analysis on walkability for your research, you can use this Arwin portal. So let's just jump right into it. So the first step is to open your um, Google Chrome or whatever internet platform you have on your computer and then just type in Arwin portal and then it will direct you to an Arwin portal here and then you can just click on it and then here it will you have to put in your organization whether you're a student or if you work somewhere just put in your organization here so it will show you a new project um, screen like this and then here you have to refine the location first to make, make it easier for you to add the data onto the map. So the first one here I can select states and territories and then I will choose Victoria and then I will refine the area again and then here you can choose which of the options here is necessary to your um, data that you want to get. And in this case, I will choose local government area. Um, and then here I will choose Melbourne. So this is 
the CBD part of Melbourne and I will um, try to get the workability analysis from this particular location. And then once I select that, I can click here done. And then you can see that the, that the location here is already um, being selected onto the map. So whatever data that I put here, the street network or, or the population, it will all only be in within this boundary. It will all only be the data inside this Melbourne area. So here I, I already get my location. I will quickly change the background, the base map to terrain so that I can clearly see what is happening on my map. So here, this is the boundary. And then the first data that I will get is PSN, PSN is with network. And then I can just type in the keywords and then I can click search. Here I have a couple of options of the years of PSMN networks in the data sets. In this case, I will choose um, 2016. And then on the, um, on the attributes uh, selections, you can choose uh, the full street name, health limits, um, road number, street limit, and make sure that you selected the at the geometry attributes. And then you after you selected the attributes, then you click add. And then make sure you read the terms and condition here. And then after you read that, click accept. Here, the data set is already put on the map. So this um, street network is only within this boundary. And this will be the base of the workability that is gonna be run on the map. So the second um, data set that I will get is the points. So just like the PetCatch website, it needs points of where the workability is starting. So for example, so I will click this draw point. So for example, if I want to see the workability from this certain area, I will put my points here. So the workability will start from here and then it will measure the workability within a certain um, distance from this central point. So, and the difference between Alvin and um, web, uh, PetCatch website is in PetCatch website, you can only add maximum of three points, but in Alvin, you can add as many points as you want. So if I want to measure um, the workability from a park here, and maybe a park here, and then from also from university um, kind of um, complex, and then maybe around here in the docklands area, and then maybe I want to also measure around here, and then around here. Make sure that you put all the points within this boundary, not outside of it, because it's not gonna show you the analysis if you put the points outside of the boundary so yeah so uh, those are the points of which the workability will be generated and once i'm happy with my with the location that i want to generate um, i click save geometries as a data set and then you just rename the points data sets i will rename them points and then click OK. So here your geometry is has already created as a data set. Once you have this data, now you can run the catchment general gen, catchment generator. So go to tools, select workability, and then select catchment generator. And then here in the root network, you put in the PSMA street network line that you have added to your map. And then on the points here, you put the points that you just draw on the map that, and then that you just have saved as a data set. So here I will choose points Melbourne and then on the maximum walk distance. So here you can change on whatever distance you want. In this case, I, I will change it to 500 because 
generally 500 distance is a 10 minute um a 10 minute walking which is still within the walkable distance uh, for the trim distance you can um leave it as it be and then for the here for the data set output you can rename them so that you don't get confused if you have a lot of data in this part of your project so i will rename them workability melbourne and then after that click add and run and then it will create the workability and then if you click display after you click run and then it's successfully um, completed you can see the points that you have put on the map and it shows here and then to to visualize that on the map so you can click here and then you can click display on map and then you can click update and display here you see the work ready for each of each points that you have put here so we just so we have successfully did the first part of our workability analysis using catchment generator. Um, the second part is we are going to use the index within area tools. So these tools will, will give you a more detailed um, analysis, which is a combine of connectivity, land use mix, and population density. And the outputs will also have um, connections and areas that I will show you later. So to do that, after you get this data, you can, um, I will turn this off. And then you can go back to browse the data. So on the keywords, type in ADA visual residential. Here, I will choose 2016. Make sure you select mesh block category and then total useful residential population 2016. And then make sure you also choose the geometry um, attributes. And then after you select that, click add. So now we have that data within this boundary area. We can go back to tools, go to workability, and then select workability index within area. If you want to um, read more on these tools and what the output and input is, we, you can just click on this and it will direct you to this web to this Alwin um, website and they will explain you what the output is, which is really, really useful. In terms of the input, this is a little bit different from what we have here because maybe this website is more updated than this part. But it's okay. It's it's it still I st it still have um a, a lot of useful informations, and in terms of how to use it, you can just um see what I did here. So with the road network, you can select um the PSMA street network, and then area on the area here select the output workability that we just did before. And then on land use poly polygon data set, um, choose APS user residential population. And then on the classification attribute, choose mass block category. And then on the land use classifications, here, choose. So this will be the, the land use mix that is going to be put into our um, output on this workability index within area, which is, for example, if I choose residential, then they will measure um, the workability to and from residential area. If I choose parkland, then it will measure the workability to and from a parkland. So that this is the land use classification, but I will choose um, industrial, commercial, education, transport, and hospital, but I don't think I will um, select this for now because um, I don't want to, uh, for example, I don't want to measure a workability to and from a water. So you can, so you can just select whatever, whichever you need from this 
um, land use classifications, you don't have to choose everything. And then on the population data set, again, we choose the ADS usual residential population. And then on the population attribute, we choose total usual resident population 2016. And then we can click add and run. So if you click display, here this is our um, walkability the index within area um, result and you can um, see the what the connectivity area connections and everything here in this website so it will um, explain to you what the connectivity means and area and everything here and so after we get this data of the walkability we can then visualize this using the visualize tool. So if we go here, map, judge, and graphs, we can go to map visualizations and then we can choose chloroplat, which is, is going to show the data onto the map um, based on the class of the connectivity and it will be based on the colors it shows on the map. So it will make it more easier to show, to understand what the data means. So if we select the data set, we select the output here. This is the index within area that we just um, generated. And then if we select the attribute, you choose the, so if you select the attribute, you, you choose the zoom Z score. So this is the total of all of these. So we can just select this. And this is just like to summarize your information and then on the select a classifier i will just leave it like that and then on the palette palette type i will choose diverging and then here you can choose which colors you want for your data and then after you choose all of that click add and display so here you can see that the walkability is um, they is visualized on the map and you can see the different color here. So the color here, it shows the how well the connectivity is from this point. So for example, if it shows you blue color, it means it's on class 4, which is, is well connected and has a really good connectivity in terms of its land use um, connections and also the population density. Whereas the red one, it has the least, the least um, connectivity class. So if you see here, it will show you um, all these class in this box here. So that's how you generate the walkability data in Arvin. You can still explore on these um, walkability available items here um, using their data and make sure that you put the data inside the boundary that, that you have selected and if you want to maybe compare this um, data in the Melbourne area to the data in the for example in this area you can reselect your area selections and don't delete this data that you have here you can just um, reselect the selections and then again you put the you add the data the PSMA suite network and then you draw the points and then you again um, add the data of useful residential and all those new data will be within that new boundary that you have created and then you um, you repeat the same steps and you will be able to have the walkability analysis um, just like you did in this um, Melbourne area. So this is just to, to quickly show you what that would look like. So the first one is I did the analysis in the Melbourne area and then after that I reselect the area selections to this um, more land area and then using the same steps by putting new street network in this boundary area and then again point the point drawings and then also the usual residential and then I did the same all the same steps and then it will show you the data in this um, area and also you can still see the data that you have generated in the 
Melbourne area that you have the, the first side. So you can see in this area, it has more red colors than the one in the CBD. So it generally just show you how um, in the CBD area, it's well connected than the one in this particular suburb. So those are the kind of analysis you can do using these tools.